Charles Oakley in a foul. Let's go. Oh, Barkley did not like. Oh, Barkley took a swing and Oakley. Oakley went back at Barkley. And let's see how this is handled. Will they call it a punch? Well, if his fist was closed, it's definitely a punch. Patrick Ewing now grabbing referee Jake O'Donnell. I got traded to the Lakers. Uh, so I get a call from my agent one morning, and he says, uh, I think we got a deal. You're going to the Lakers. So me and two of my boys, this is about 1130 during the day. And what year is this? Uh, somewhere in the mid-80s. Okay, so you're in Philly. Yeah, uh, I want to say 90, 90, somewhere in the late 80s. Okay. And I was so excited. So me and my boys went out to celebrate. We started getting drunk in the middle of the day. <laughs> uh, I was so excited. My agent called me back about three hours later. He said, the Sixers pull out the deal. And we got a game that night. <laughs> I, I don't remember anything about that game. Uh, but I, first of all, I was so pissed. Uh -huh. But I was so drunk, too. <laughs> I, I have no idea what happened that game. You know, know your stats? Did you? Uh, I do not even remember the game, actually. Oh, like, I can remember a lot of games I played, but that day, we were so excited. I was getting out of Philadelphia, and I was blasted. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> and we had a lunch. We were doing shots and everything. Was that the only time you played while intoxicated? No. No. <laughs> Gonna feel Williams and he's gonna spin on him, but then he's gonna dunk it right over Scottie Pippen. You talking about a strong man? Scottie Pippen. Well, it's the first time that they had words on either side. Today you had two had a few words for one another when there was some bumping and shoving going on, and Charles reminded him once again that that was me that got that block. So 335 remaining in this fourth quarter. The Bulls 100, the Suns 94, Charles and Scotty get together. Almost hit a three, and that would have really been the capper. What a quarter for the Phoenix Suns. And Barkley, he says, that was so good, I don't want to go to the locker room. Let's keep going. Peyton comes in, thought he had the sidelines. Well, he's always had a lot to say when he's been up here, but watch him go over and have a little something to say to George Carlin. Second time, finally to the game in the third. It was all sons. Marley to Charles. Barkley loving this and rubbing it in big time. Barkley continued to talk Barkley. with this shot and then the aftermath. Charles, uh, nothing technical about this win. No way, Charles. You got to pick your spot. But maybe Charles wants Dennis to go to the free throw line and embarrass himself. He's 12 of 15 from the field. Oh, my God. Now he's going to go. Once and can't make it. Charles looks like he's just determined to take over this game. Oh, my. Give him up. Huh? Hey, what? Oh, what? Okay. You want keep? You don't want keep. No ball. Oh, you go. Right here. Wait, I'm not. I'm just going. Oh, no. Did you see the hang time? <laughs> wait, wait. You need to throw. I throw it in the post. Throw it in the post. What's this D? You? What's this D? What's this D? There you go. There you go. There you go. Oh! There it is. Oh! Oh, Mr. Brown! What a round, man! Oh, Mr. My turn. What are you doing in the post? You get something there. You get something there. Oh! Oh, round! They've been going at each other all season long. Rodman with a push. On the horn, Lane Beer follows with the ball, and then Barkley and Lane Beer. Barkley gets in the left. Lane Beer will come back with an uppercut. Lane Beer, who's had that mouse under his eye for most of the season, also had a cut. Both benches empty. It went on for five minutes. The fans also got involved in it. It was an ugly situation. You can look for fines. I think the biggest thing to be concerned of for both of these teams is if anybody's going to be suspended for the first round of the playoffs. Both teams jawing at each other. The Pistons did not like the fact that the Sixers clinched the Atlantic Division on their home court. They tried to go to the locker room. Barkley went into the locker room and actually broke a toilet seat. He was so mad. Hey, it's JB with Broad Squad Sports. Thanks for watching.
you enjoy this video, please click like and subscribe. Thank you.